On today's episode, we're going to go to Central Park. Central Park is in Manhattan, and it's one of my favorite places in the world. It opened in 1857 on 770 acres and later grew to 843. The park is maintained by the Central Park Conservatory, a private nonprofit organization. The budget is $57 million to keep it looking nice. And it is the most visited urban park in the United States. There's also been a lot of movies made in Central Park. Marathon Man, Home Alone 2, James and the Giant Peach, The Prince of Central Park, The Avengers, 2011 was the last episode of Glee. And needless to say, Gossip Girl had many scenes filmed there. An interesting and beautiful spot is the Bethesda Terrace and Fountain. Central Park has been a National Historic Landmark since 1962. The park was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux back in 1858 after winning a design competition. I'm going to give you some fun facts about the park. First of all, the park has 36 bridges. Back in 1850, the land was covered with swamps and occupied by squatters who raised livestock and goats. Did you know that there are 29 sculptures? One is of a dog named Balto from 1925. In 1959, Alice in Wonderland was put in the park. And in 1997, Duke Ellington. Central Park is the home of seven bodies of water. The main lake is the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir that was named after her in 1994. The reservoir is 40 feet deep. One of the most special places in the park is Strawberry Fields that was named in honor of John Lennon on October 9, 1985, which would have been Lennon's 45th birthday. Strawberry Fields is a four-acre area that was frequented by Lennon, who lived right down the street in the Dakota. Yoko Ono is responsible for giving $1 million to the park for the creation of Strawberry Fields. The mosaic that spells out the word imagine was a gift from the city of Naples. Central Park is the home of more than 25,000 trees. For bird watchers, the Rambles is the place to go. There is a list of more than 235 different birds, including the red-tailed hawk. Since 1922, rowboats were available, and even today you can rent a rowboat at the Low Boathouse. For great entertainment, you can go to the Delacorte Theater and watch Shakespearean Festival play, which was launched by Joseph Papp in 1962. The Great Lawn is where a lot of free concerts are held, and many are held by the New York Philharmonic. Lastly, for all dogs and dog lovers, you can take your dog and walk without a leash before 9 a.m. in the morning and after 9 p.m. at night. So who could ask for more? On the way back from Central Park, I saw something you would only see in New York. A man stood in front of a bus and kept it there for 15 minutes. Within moments, a crowd gathered to catch the scene. Passing drivers even slowed down to see what the man was up to. Only in New York would you see this. Music